Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the channel on civil brains. So in this lecture, we'll try to see how the valuation has to be done for any of the plot. I uh, will try to see uh, how the valuation has been done for one of the plot. Okay. So these are the courses what, what I have on the Udemy platform and also on my civil brains app. So just in case if you're interested, uh, you can enroll in the courses so that you get a good knowledge regarding all the subjects. And these are the reviews given by the students. I have a around uh, 10 different courses and there are a lot of uh, combo offers also going on right so if you have any doubts regarding the courses and all you can always whatsapp on this number right so i'll take you to the other part now yeah so right now i'll teach you about the valuation repeat report so this is one of the house what we are looking and we are trying to do the valuation for this particular house okay now uh, this is a format generally what we try to uh, prepare when you want to give uh, valuation report so what is written here name of the property owner so and so person address of the property date of inspection like when did, when did that civil engineer or when did that valuer go to that particular home uh, to do the inspection so he, he went on 23 4 and 2021 and date of valuation 20 29 4 2021 documents produce rights of record and house tax so these are the documents what the owner has given this particular engineer now coming to the details of the land so first is a description of the property. So it's a agricultural land. It's a RCC house, what you can see. Uh, open well it has, okay. And four numbers of coconut trees, okay. Uh, maybe coconut trees somewhere here. So there are four number of coconut trees uh, in that particular plot. Now type of property, of course, it's a residential building what we have. Location of the property it is written here, okay. Next is boundaries of the plot. Like what all boundaries? I mean, uh, like we have north, south, west and east direction, right? So in the north, you have a house. In the south, there is a residential house. In the east also, there is another residential house. Maybe someone, your neighbor. And maybe in the uh, even in the west also, they have a residential house. Now coming to the area of land, uh, this thing uh, is the area of land, what you get. And uh, you get this from the survey number, okay? So this is a survey number, what they have written. Yeah, next is distance from the branch to the property. That is uh, from this particular bank uh, to this particular house. What is the distance? It is three kilometer. It depends from building to building. If property is owner or lease owned, it's a own property. Okay. The, oh, I mean, the owner uh, has constructed himself the house. So it, it belongs to him. Okay. Now coming to the details of the building, number of floors in the building, it's a ground floor plus first floor. We can see we have a ground floor here. Then we have a first floor here. Then what is the total built up area? So ground floor, we have 1,943 square feet. This is a ground floor. And in the first floor, it is 1,450 square feet. So age of the building roughly around, it's a 25 years old building. Of course, maybe they have done new painting here. So it looks like a new house, but it's almost 25 years old. And this is a house number usually what you get. Okay. Now coming to the specification of the building. So coming to the structure part, laterite masonry for the foundation and the superstructure. Okay. RCC roofing slab has been done. Travel finish, internal wall and ceiling plastering. See all these things when you go for the valuation, okay, for the inspection, you are supposed to check all these things. Okay. Like uh, how is the house? I mean, you have to take a round and then you have to check about the qualities and other part. Okay. That will come through experience. So this was done. Uh, this, this evaluation was uh, done by one of my friend. So travel finish internal wall and ceiling plastering, single coat external plastering is what they've done. Okay. Now coming to the flooring, especially in the ground floor, they have done a granite flooring. Okay. And for sit out living room and three numbers of bedroom vitrified flooring for the kitchen and the dining. So this is a kitchen what they have and oxide flooring for the work area, wherever the work area is there, they have done oxide flooring. Okay, that's a red oxide flooring. Uh, old and this, we used to do that. Next, we have anti-skid ceramic tiles for the toilet floor, glazed ceramic tiles for the toilet wall dado, glazed ceramic tiles for kitchen wall dado. So this is your glazed ceramic for the kitchen wall dado above the platform up to the four, four feet height. Okay, yeah. Now coming to the flooring in the first floor area, in the first floor area, Again, there also you, you are used uh, vitrified flooring for living room and other rooms, anti-skid ceramic tiles for uh, toilet floor and glazed ceramic tiles for the toilet wall that I do, right? Now coming to the kitchen counter, see uh, when you go here, you have to check in each and every room, okay? And you have to check what kind of flooring they are used and all, okay? Next is coming to the kitchen area, polished uh, black granite slab. So you can see it here, a black color granite slab as for the counter with the stainless steel sink. So it's a stainless steel sink, it's somewhere here, if you observe plywood cabinet below the counter. You can see all the cabinet counter here. I mean the plywood cabinet counter here. Now coming to the doors, windows and railings in the ground floor. Uh, teak wood is uh, normally what we use for the windows and all. Teak wood frame and shutter for main and internal doors. 
teak wood door for puja room so yeah maybe this is a puja room here the made is of a teak wood here fiber frame and shutter for toilet door okay and then uh, hardwood uh, windows with ms screen ss railing uh, in the sit out area so this is your ss right you have a railings here isn't it so this is a sit out area hardwood windows with ms screen and then jungle wood staircase with railings inside the living room okay yeah so this is a jungle wood jungle wood uh, staircase with railings inside the living room okay yeah now coming to the doors windows and railings in the first floor area again uh, go through it's the same thing whatever we had here no same thing again you can see the railings in the first floor isn't it so ms railing for the sit out so this is a sit out area and you have put a ms railings for the sit out now coming to the painting again you have to check each and everything so you can make a note out of it so what all things you are supposed to check when you go for the valuation okay for the inspection then coming to the painting ground and first floor two coats uh, tractor emulsion over one coat primer and two coat wall care putty for internal walls and ceiling see uh, these things uh, you may ask the client recently when you have done the painting and how is the condition and also through your experience also you can you know come to a conclusion okay two coat exterior emulsion over one coat exterior primer two coat enamel paint over zinc chromate primer for ms grill okay next coming to the electrical electric wiring and switches of basic quality okay of basic quality they have used just in case if you are used let us say of a leg grand brand or maybe a gm brand so it will be available i mean uh, that particular brand will be you know uh, on the switchboard that you can write right now they used the basic quality so that is why he has written a basic quality coming to the plumbing again plumbing and sanitary fixtures of basic quality is what that written okay now details of the tax paid yes the tax is paid level of maintenance yeah but just by looking at these images i can say the level of maintenance is good now coming to the valuation fair market value of the land so again uh, it has the, uh, the total area of this land no it's 3.875 guntas from where you get this again you will have the survey number and all okay it will be available so it is written here it's a 3.875 guntas the, uh, all these are the records what is available uh, you can through the record you can ask the record from them and you can put a fair market value again now for the one gunta uh, the market rate is 1 lakh rupees so 3.875 into 1 lakh will give me 3 lakh 87000 and 500 rupees now whatever is a fair market value in your particular place based that you can put let us see if it is 2 lakh rupees in your area then you multiply this by 2 now fair market value of the construction in the ground floor this is a total built up area like 67 feet by 29 feet again from where did i get this so uh, if you come here the total built up area was around 1943 square feet right that is a ground floor now th this is a total dimension i mean this is a dimension what we have that is a 67 square feet i mean i mean 67 feet by 29 feet it comes out to be 1943 square feet again this is a a uh, uh, market value okay that is a fair market value like uh, see uh, if you are a contractor and all you know if somebody ask you like uh, i want to construct a 2000 square feet area of a home so how much it would cost so uh, usually the rate including all the construction finishes and all it will it will uh, it will take you 2000 rupees per square feet that is a rough estimate what we do so that's 2000 into multiply by this total square feet will give me a approximate cost of my building later this may vary okay maybe uh 10% here and there but you are going to get a rough estimate like how much amount you are supposed to keep for the construction in the same way looking at the present market rate we have a 2000 rupees per square feet is a market rate what we have so the total square feet i'm going to multiply i'm getting 38 lakhs 86000 rupees so this is for the ground floor i have done similarly i have a first floor also again the first floor it is 1450 square feet again 1450 square feet into 1400 rupees again you are going to get the amount here okay yeah now coming to the other part now they have a well here so well is uh, not visible here so they have a open well so roughly has taken around 75000 rupees for that well okay yeah now coming to the total add all these things 38 plus 20 yeah how much it comes out to me and this 75 and then uh, this one yeah so let me try to do that Yeah, so I I added this thirty eight lakh eighty six and twenty lakh thirty thousand and seventy five thousand. I'm getting answer of fifty nine lakh ninety one thousand. Now uh, we have to add a depreciation for that. Okay, so usually is that for every one year, one year old building we have to take one percent depreciation. So here it's a twenty five years old, but still we have taken around ten percent depreciation. You can take even fifteen per fifteen percent depreciation also. No issues in that. So again, uh, we are getting if I put ten percent depreciation for this, that means fifty nine lakh ninety one thousand 
uh, into 10% of this will give me 5,99,000. So the total value after the depreciation will be how much? So uh, 59,91,000 minus 5,99,100 will give me 53,91,900. So the fair market value of the property will be uh, right now, this is a, after the depreciation I'm getting 53,91,900. Again, for this, I have to add this uh, this fair market value of the land. Right now, whatever I did, that was for the land. Okay. Along with that, for the I mean for the construction we had done along for the land, it is three lakh eighty seven thousand five hundred. So try to add both the thing. That is, try to add three lakh eighty seven thousand five hundred. Okay. Plus fifty three lakh uh, ninety one thousand nine hundred. So if I do that. 3,87,500. Yeah. So I'm getting around 57,79,400. And same you can see it here. So same you can see here. Uh, I'm getting 57,79,400. So you can round off this to 57 lakh. Okay. Yeah, so the rupees 57 lakhs only. Okay, that is how the uh, fair market value of the property is coming finally after all your inspection and all that may slightly vary from value to value. Okay, uh, based on the experience and based on the uh, you know uh, market value and all, it may vary from one value to the other value. Yeah, now last at last we'll write this. Okay, uh, I here by declare that the information furnished above is true and correct to the best of more my knowledge and belief based on shown by the party. I have no direct or indirect interest in the property valued because sometimes what happens, you know, uh, they'll tell you, you know, increase all the price and all will give you some commission. Maybe they want to keep this uh, house and they want to take a loan from the bank. You know, some people do all those things. So that is why it's written. I have no direct or indirect interest in the property valued. Quality of construction is access, assessed based on the visual and corroborative evidence obtained at the site during my visit. Okay. Original documents are to be verified and to be cross-checked with the property. The report does not cover any legal aspect and is not responsible for any loss at any point of time. Value varies with purpose and data. The value certified above hold good only on the date of valuation. Okay, maybe now you have done the valuation. Maybe after one year, you cannot go with the same valuation. Maybe after one year, you might have done a lot of changes. Maybe you might have removed this railings and all and a lot of paint and all might have got, you know, uh, maybe the paint is not good after one year. In that case, again, that valuation will not hold good. Again, you have to do the valuation. That is why uh, whenever you are submitting it, the, that is why we have written a date and all so that we get an idea when was the date of inspection and when was the date of valuation. Okay. Yeah. So I hope up to here you have uh, understood whatever I have thought. And uh, so that is how it is. So other than that, if you are interested in my other courses, like I mentioned, you can always enroll in these courses. Okay. We'll be getting it for 400 rupees, like on site engineering, quantity estimation, internship, uh, diploma courses. I mean, the concrete technology courses, basic project planning, then the interview preparation courses is also there. And uh, there are almost eight to nine different courses on different uh, construction. And that is how all the courses are. And you have seen the reviews also. So always you can get back to me on this WhatsApp number regarding the courses and all. Yeah. So I hope you have enjoyed the lecture. Please do like and subscribe to this channel. So we'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.